So this is a quick review of the CPM Film Tools DSLR Shoulder Shooter Kit. I've had this kit for about three months and I wanted to give it a little bit of time before I gave it a proper review. The CPM rig arrives in a pretty small box, packing slips on top, followed by assorted washers and cable clamps. As you can see, I've ordered two of the quick release plates along with my particular order. You lift this up and all the rest of the hardware that I ordered is underneath. After configuring this rig, I realized that the diagram that they show on the website is probably not the most convenient method for a DSLR shooter. I reconfigured it to put the shoulder rest on the bottom instead of on the top. It makes it a lot easier. The rig sits at about eye level, as opposed to having the rig sit about down here where it's hard to see the screen. Up front, you've got two sturdy handles, and if you flip the unit to the side, you've got this shoulder rest in the back, an access area right here for your compact flash card, and then if you notice, I've added a couple of extra accessories to this, including this ball mount right here, and this ball mount back here. Also, I've added two cold shoe adapters so that you have a place to mount both microphones and other accessories. This shoulder shooter is made out of carbon fiber rails and composite plastics. It's fairly light, it's easy to maintain, and it's really durable. Nice and solid construction. I feel comfortable with my camera in a rig this solid. If you look back here, they've included these wire guides that uh, give you a nice place to route your cables, say if you want to mount an audio pack on the back of the shoulder rig. Also, they give you a fairly secure A-frame handle to pick the entire unit up. It mounts to both rails, very similar to what you get from many of the other uh, rig manufacturers. The handles on this unit are covered in a rubber coating grip, similar to what you have on a bicycle handle. This is great when you're shooting in regular conditions, but in high heat conditions, the problem I've found with this is that they begin to slide off or you gain slack in this top part right here. And when you grip on, it seems like they want to get out of your hands and come loose. That's not very good when you have several thousand dollars worth of equipment hanging on the rig. The CPM quick release adapter supports the Manfrotto 501 plates, which is kind of handy considering I've got over 20 of them in my collection. On a positive note, this unit is several times lighter than many of its competitors in the same price bracket, including the Genius Rig and the Indy Rail Systems. These units are made out of aluminum and are a lot heavier overall compared to this carbon fiber system. One of the great considerations on this rig is the fact that the camera sits offset on the bracket. This allows you to open the battery compartment completely and gives you the ability to access and remove the battery without taking the camera off of the rig. This is really handy when you're in the middle of a shoot and need to change batteries on your DSLR. Unfortunately, this means that the camera can't slide all the way through the front cage, which can be kind of a pain when you're trying to get a follow focus adapter onto the camera. So fully set up, here's the rig. The rig's not too bad. Overall, it's fairly manageable. From this position, you notice that I have my gear puller right here, which is fairly easy to access. My monitor is located right in front of my face, so that works out pretty good, and the handles are fairly easy to grip. There's even enough length on here for me to be able to see my Zoom H4n level inputs. The only problem I have with this particular configuration is if you look right here on the top, the microphone extends out to where the handle is. This causes a problem when you're trying to grip onto the handle. You end up bumping the microphone for those low shots. It doesn't work out very good. Now from what they tell me, he just released a new device that allows you to mount the microphone on the front end of this particular rail right here. Unfortunately, that wasn't included in my particular kit. And it seems like every month he's coming up with some sort of new device that you can get. Another thing I found inconvenient was this Swiss cheese plate right here. The shoulder part does not allow you enough room to get in there and actually tighten down a device onto this while it's mounted. So if you want to change out devices, you almost need to put in some sort of quick release plate of some kind to get things on and off fast. There was a lot of thought put into this particular design though. If you look right here on the top, you'll notice this is ribbed for her pleasure. That makes it a lot easier to hook onto the rails. It also doesn't slip or slide like some of the other smooth units that adapt to 15 millimeters. Also, I'm told these lower profile thumb nuts used to be a lot bigger. These are fairly convenient for getting into tight places and still being able to have enough room to tighten. Another nice thing about this rig is the fact that the rails are nice and sturdy. The fact that this unit forms a cage around the entire camera is fairly reassuring. It's nice to know that if I drop the camera, the first thing to hit the ground won't be the lens or the camera body, but the rail system instead. On a side note, when you have a camera rig that's configured this way, it gets a little heavy. Mine weighs almost 10 pounds. 
I had to upgrade from a smaller fluid head, a 501, to a 503 HDV Manfrotto head in order to support the weight of this larger rig. All in all, I consider the CPM rig to be one of the better values in its price range. It's not quite as configurable as some of its competitors, but it makes up for that in its lightweight construction and its ergonomic design. On top of that, they really considered a lot of the things that a DSLR shooter needs in order to be productive in the field. Don't just take my word for it. If you're interested in a DSLR shooter rig, swing over to some of these websites and check out what they've got to offer. Contrast and compare and determine what works best for you. As always, thanks for watching. And if you like this content, please subscribe.